China to give volunteers from Zhejiang former survey team to check out the needs of the flooded residents. In Taiwan, there are 90,000 recycling volunteers ranging from 5 years old to 109 years old. Selamat datang ke Dai Headlines, saya Simon Gan. Terima kasih menyertai sesi berita kita. Welcome to Dai Headlines. Thank you for joining us. As the torrential rain continues in China, the devastation in Yongshou County is the worst. To meet the needs of the disaster victims, such volunteers from Zhejiang former survey team to check out their needs. It's raining cats and dogs, but Zhejiang Suji volunteers still head out to conduct disaster surveys in Yongshou County. It's literally impossible to see. Visibility is less than 10 meters. Leaving the highway, the road condition is even more difficult to travel on as the muddy road is filled with potholes and surrounded by much water. If the car's frame is not high enough, then this road will be even more difficult to travel on. It's so pumpy that the video is difficult to capture. Receiving Suji's disaster survey team is the staff from the county office as they take a survey of the embankment at Lixing Township. The volunteers then discover the need for drainage equipment. Originally, the embankment was surrounded by residential homes and paddy fields, but it's all been flooded now. The residents are worried about their harvest and how they will get by the rest of the days. This year we planted much of the early rice crops because of the government's food guarantee plan. We had over 10 million square meters of early rice crops planted with over 8 million of it flooded. Some can be saved, some have reduced harvest, but most are just destroyed. To really understand the needs of the disaster victims, Zhejiang City volunteers have visited Yongshou County multiple times since the end of July, and in the end provided the government with 30 requested generators. They will shortly conduct material aid distributions to the people and visit them once again. Also in China, Yan city government has evacuated tens of thousands of people. The evacuation message came too sudden, so it was too late for many people to pack their belongings. The local government asked Siji for help and turned to volunteers urgently purchase daily necessities and prepared Jingzi folding beds and blankets for the residents living in a temporary shelter. The residential buildings fell directly into the raging torrent, which was caused by the continuous torrential rain in Sichuan, and Yan'an city became a vast ocean. The water level is about four meters higher than these residential buildings. If you want to send supplies to the residents, you must deliver the supplies to their shelter place. For resident safety, Yan'an city government evacuated those living in the mountainous areas. Yet it was too late to prepare emergency supplies, so they asked GZ for help. As soon as volunteers received the message, they immediately went out for purchase. The daily necessities, including GZ folding beds and blankets, were loaded on a car but there was no driver available during the holidays. Frontier Li Guangming, who had bus driving experience, took initiative to do it. This was a job I used to have. Now it's become my mission to help the people in need. When I arrived here, I could sense the residents' expectation of receiving the supplies. I felt a sense of responsibility. After unloading all supplies, Frontiers elaborated the sources and purpose of GNC folding beds and blankets to the government officials and residents, hoping to enable them to live a better life in the shelter place. This is a matter of our minor water bottles. We recycle the bottles and reuse them, and we didn't dye the blanket, which is very easy to clean and dries quickly. We have prepared 34 blankets only with one per person. These supplies were delivered in a timely manner. It is convenient for our residents staying in the shelter to use the comfortable beds and warm blankets. And there are also a lot of daily necessities which are useful for our preparation for the recent disaster prevention and mitigation. 
Thank you so much. Even though we suffered this natural disaster, we received your love and care. We are so grateful. The government's disaster prevention and evacuation has ensured the safety of the residents. Along with the timely supplies delivered by Chiji, these eight families were able to pass through this difficult time. Zimbabwe Tsuchi volunteers visited disadvantaged families from house to house, bringing rice, food and jinsu folding beds, hoping to improve the conditions of these families. Here's more. This dilapidated tarp is the home of two brothers. Their mattress has exposed cotton and springs, a place where they sleep every day. My dad found a new pieces of canvas and built this shed for us to live in. My mom passed away during childbirth and my dad remarried. My dream is that I can live in a better house and buy clothes for myself. These two children depend upon each other. Tiji volunteers delivered food and secondhand clothes to make them feel loved. Supplies are carefully balanced on the heads of volunteers as they visit disadvantaged families and walk into the home of the blind old man living alone to provide him with some support. The volunteer time rope for me between going from my house to the toilet. This is because they know I can't see. I get lost every time I go to the bathroom. Thanks to the volunteers for sending me so many surprises. <laughs> Poverty, sickness and hunger abound as many are hungry and babies frequently cry. <laughs> Giving them a bite of rice to eat, some remain proud even despite their humble situation. Because of poverty, many people look down on me, but now that I joined Chiji, life becomes simple and happy because I can also help people. Singing loudly about the happiness which comes from giving, going house to house, these volunteers are visiting the poor as they feel truly rich in spirit. On Philippines' Bohol Island, there lives a solitary senior named Juan, whose home burned out in a fire accident. He doesn't have anyone to help him rebuild his own home. He could only scrap together metal sheets to form some shelter for himself. Volunteers saw his condition and helped him rebuild his home in just two weeks. <laughs> Juan Ribusa lives on Boho Island and his home was destroyed in a fire accident. Without anyone to help him, he built himself a dwelling to stay in. When I went out to fetch water, a piece of wood was still burning and it fell on the place where I placed my chopped wood. The fire spread quickly and destroyed everything in my home. When Siji volunteers came to visit, they could not bear to see him living in such a condition. Thus, they quickly enacted a plan to help him build a home. When word got out about rebuilding a home for the senior, even the neighbors came to pitch in to help. And in just two weeks' time, Juan's home was finished. I've received Siji's help before, and so I'm very happy to volunteer my time. When you're feeling helpless and someone reaches out to help, it's very much like when a drowning person finds a raft to float on. I'm glad to be here to help Juan rebuild his home. It's kind of like I'm reciprocating to Chi's past assistance. After my home was destroyed by the fire, the only organization which came to care about me was Tsuji. Thank you so much to the volunteers for helping to build me a home. I wish Tsuji Foundation continues to help people like me who need assistance. The day of moving in, the volunteers also brought a jeans to folding bed, some white rice and other necessities, so that Huang may live in comfort at his new home. Thank you, Tsuji, for gathering us to help Juan build his home. Now that he has a safe place to rest his head, we are so happy for him. According to Tsuji Foundation statistics, in 2019, there were nearly 90,000 recycling volunteers in Taiwan, with the oldest recycling volunteer being 109 years old and the youngest being 5 years old. Despite the age gap, they are all putting knowledge into action and showing a willingness to protect the earth. This pair of hands massage a patient. 
This pair of hands are good at calligraphy. This pair of hands are doing their best for the earth. Sorting recycling is really not that simple. Every one of our bodhisattvas has unique skills, as I admire them very much. Hong Den Tan is 62 years old this year and has recently retired. After retiring from the workplace, he has worked hard at recycling stations. He has a massage practitioner license and passed a traditional Chinese medicine exam. Apart from doing recycling, he also provides massage therapy for recycling volunteers at his studio in Shizhou, New Taipei City. As old bodhisattvas has osteoporosis and their whole body may feel sore, when their whole body is sore, for old bodhisattvas, we can't do a rigorous massage. Instead, we do it lightly and they will feel lots of improvement. Massaging the body to keep them healthy, volunteers can do recycling better. Wang Zhentang humbly said that he is only a junior recycling volunteer and venerates those older than him. For example, Qing Bao, 90 years old, reports to Shizhou recycling station almost every day. <laughs> Tearing the paper and letting his fingers become flexible, Grandpa Lee feels uncomfortable when he misses a day. Taking a closer look, the percentage of older volunteers in recycling stations is quite high. The Zhiju Foundation survey found that 54% of volunteers are aged 65 years or older, retired from the workforce, and they say that recycling keeps them healthy and useful. Because these old bodhisattvas come together in this place, they are not just chatting, but they can do work that is good for the earth here. Even elementary and middle school students come here, and they can learn about recycling. Being a teacher also allows them to play a great role. The recycling station is like a second home for these elderly people. Even a hundred-year-old elder comes to work as elders are able to enrich their lives again. It's also suitable for young friends. Five-year-old Peng Youxiang, along with his mother and brother, step on bottles to learn classification. These children are not afraid of getting their hands and feet dirty. They actually think that it is quite fun. Sometimes they can pick up toys that others don't want. They think it's very fun. They will pick them up and collect them. Then they want to find special treasure every time they come. From their curiosity and personal interest, this mother is quite supportive of her children doing the right thing. She's also very happy to see the changes in them. For example, my old child will do some recycling in school. Before, he would not wash out the PET bottle and put them in the box. But now he is better trained and he knows that many people don't rinse the bottles and when you open the recycling, it can smell really bad. This recycling location in Shangsan District, Xinju, is actually a restaurant. It was established in August 2004. The owner, surnamed Chen, has three generations of the family involved and even relatives. They all share the same philosophy as they become recycling volunteers. For the last 15 years, I am full of praise as these children are not afraid of heat or dirty work and they are willing to do this for the earth. While they are too young to make money, they can still contribute their strengths to help the earth. Environmental education is the first step in setting up environmental protection industries. Without this education, you are unlikely to have successful environmental protection work because protecting the earth is actually everyone's business. In cities, villages, mountains, seashores, and outlying islands, there are Zigi recycling volunteers. Everyone is a good gardener who guards the earth and are willing to use their hands regardless if they are children or adults.
holding up to their promises with the local residents, such volunteers carried out their regular visits to Shuangxi District. This time, they visited five care recipients. Let's take a look at their stories. After knocking a few times with nobody answering, the volunteers started to become anxious until they saw a familiar figure walking towards them. Actually, I noticed that the clothes he's wearing this time is really different from before. They are much cleaner. Although his attire has improved, but his living environment is a contrasting story. Mr. Xu is living alone and has mental illness. Volunteers have been accompanying him for eight years now and can understand his every thoughts and actions. His inner self is full of fear and insecurity, so he collects a lot of things back home and packs it up like a fortress so that he feels safe. Sending love and care to every family in need, volunteers treat them like family and also remember their most important day. When Ame was born, her brain lacked oxygen, which led to partial mental disability. But she can remember the volunteers' kindness and even gave them a new nickname. She feels that I'm just like her mother. In fact, my kids are all older than her. But when she hugged me and called me mother, my heart ached. In the United States, New York City volunteers are still carrying out aid distribution to help those affected during the pandemic. Recently, food was distributed in Hispanic communities for the third time. Here's more. Today is a distribution day. Sushi and us, Brigada Esperanza, have uh, joined forces to provide food for people. We're gonna feed about 1,200 people. That makes me happy. That means that somebody's not gonna go to sleep with an empty stomach. Brigada, 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 Brigada! Today, we're here to do the third distribution for the Hispanic community who are affected by the pandemic. I work for the Media Production Center. We used it as an office, but now it's really great to see that the office is being used to actually serve the community. We're working with the Brigada de Esperanza organization started by Judge Carmen and a few other people. I'm a judge of the Superman Court of the state of New York. I'm the first Ecuadorian elected as judge in the state of New York. It took a lot of work as a Latino, as an Ecuadorian, as a woman. For those who don't know me, I have jurisdictions in borough of Queens. I have the right to send people to jail for 100 years. But today, I'm just a brown gay volunteer here to help. Today, we have the privilege of helping each other with the Tsuji Foundation. So, Freeman is yours. <laughs> Welcome, and uh, thank you for coming today. Uh, thanks to uh, Jack and the organization, we work together to give everybody the food. I found out through Facebook. I'm receiving the food that they give, through which helps me a lot. I feel very grateful. The Hispanic community in Queens is one of the most affected communities. These type of food really helps put food on the table. I have four children. This aid helps us sustain our lives. A lot of their jobs pretty much have stopped since the close down back in March. So they have no source of income. What this organization is doing has been very good. My entire family is very grateful. 
I learned about Ziji because when I went to Ecuador, they were doing a fabulous cleaning in the entire area called Manabi to help Ecuadorians after earthquake disaster in 2016. I find it very interesting the way they call on community to show their work. I am so grateful to be able to see the work that you've done and to thank you personally for that amazing, amazing work. For me, I applaud you from the bottom of my heart and I know our community applauds you. And from then on, we have had a very good relationship. Today we have food bank meals, but we also have meals donated by other people who want to help. The third distribution, we want to make sure the people who receive these food know that it's really coming from individual donors as well, and it's because they care and that they're here for them. I'm from Mexico. I have five children. I've been in this country for 22 years. My husband works, but we don't have enough. That's why I come to ask for help. It's nice that people are collaborating because we are united and we are all human and we are all the same. Brigada de Esperanza's motto is En manos mi grandes no están solo. To G Foundation, we are people who aren't from, a lot of our volunteers aren't from um, US also. We are migrants too and we're also here to help other immigrants who pass through this difficult time. It's good that Ziji helps people because it's necessary. Many have no way to survive and need aid. We need it more than anything. To help first graders get accustomed to elementary school life, Tainan Ziji High School's elementary division held a new student orientation recently. The activity helped the students get used to their new school as well as a chance to get to know their teachers. The principal leads the school's directors to put on a bow tie on new students to let them understand the importance of moral character education. This bow tie knotting ceremony is representative of our hope for them to become a child which has good manners and respect for others. It also lets parents understand the importance we place on our education. The class leader also takes the new students and their parents on a tour of the campus. The parents get a feel for the school's environment. My child originally studied at Dai Ai Kindergarten in Kaohsiung, and I hope to continue education with Chi Ji here. We can really feel the positive energy of the school and how thoughtful each teacher is. They have a clear educational goal, and I feel at ease letting my child study here. Part of the new student orientation includes learning how to fold their own clothes and other basic living skills. I know how to fold clothes now. When I go home, I can help with that. I am a vegetarian and I like Gigi's lunches. The placement of the utensils and how to pick up the meals are all a part of Tsuji Manners. It is hoped that Tsuji's education will allow these students to enter the next phase of their life with confidence. Such volunteers in Chile provided aid supplies to the families in need in Puerto Alto District during the pandemic. We'll leave you with these images. Thank you and goodbye.